YouTube so uh, welcome to my another video um, today I'm gonna clean my uh, 2B Bring Arts uh, it's uh, an auction figure from the land of Play Arts Sky uh, we're gonna try to review it later once I arrive um, uh, I'll just see you later guys uh, a few moments later so what's up guys uh, I'm back at my apartment and get my 2B Bean Arts uh, 2B Bean Arts so I'm gonna open just gonna open it up for you for I to, uh, for me to review and to unbox it a few moments later Hi, this is Jaxico with another unboxing video and uh, review video from my Bing Eyes 2B from Nier Automata. For all those who don't know 2B, she's the protagonist in Nier Automata video game which came out a year ago. So let's get started with the unboxing. So earlier I came uh, with the good news uh, that my pre-order of Nier Automata Bring Arts just came arrived so here it is guys um, um, the box is matte matte textured mm, it's a little dent from the shipping I guess mm, but it's a very good it's a very good uh, box as you can see there and there uh, it has Chinese writings on the back so you, you you probably can read those and from the there that's the bring arts uh, to be in the life form robot from the game uh, it's transparent on the outside so you can see through to be in the robot and uh, I bought it for uh, 3500 so that's like 60 uh, 70 dollars I guess 70 dollars on the bottom side uh, it got uh, markings that there Square Enix production and on the top side uh, Square Enix products uh, RTS almost play art sky has those uh, markings well, because probably they are from the line of play. Twelve seconds later. So, uh, uh, let's unbox it, sir. I just got my scissor from uh, from the kitchen. Um, let's try to unbox the to be bring arts. Uh, uh, let's go. So it's still see this. It's. It, still sealed as you can see uh, I want to unbox it with you guys and I want to record it so I can keep track on what I bought so the display on the front is very very good very simple and elegant uh, it just says near automata on the top side and it shows the figurine on the inside uh, says bring art six inch action figurine your hand number two type b and machine life form so they said the machine life form is better than 2b so what do we know because we just got ours uh other um, other collectors got their to be bring arts uh, i think two weeks ago yeah i saw them posted online so there we go i'm sorry for Kirito can see him in the background let me just excuse him so there we go uh, as you can see from the front side it's just uh, I think one hand if you compare um, wait a minute I'm just gonna get my uh, up for you to steal so this is the pop the Funko pop Valer Laureline from Valeri Valerian and the City of Thousand Planets. I'm sorry, nabubulo lang ako. And as you can see, uh, for size comparison, 
um, it's almost size as a pop six inch figurine and we're gonna try to uh, get him get him out of the tree so first layer is the base as you can see um they say the base on this one is much complex and has many many i think clips so you can clip the sword and the halo one as you can see over here the halo the sword and there's a bucket on that sheet so the stand alone itself is a very good one so we're just gonna try to unlock it hmm smells plastic and very very fresh and we're gonna try to uh first go to the machine life form of course because they say it's the better one so for the machine life form uh, this is a size comparison from a pen as you can see over there there we go uh, it's not very big of a figurine uh, limited articulation you can articulate the head back and forth back and forth and the hand you can go to swivel the hand and shop and the uh, risk yes the risk like it's um, congratulating someone and the uh, feet i think you can move it oh it's just stiff uh the feet is very stiff because it's very new so we're just gonna go uh, and put him on the back and we're gonna go to the bucket the, the bucket is very very detailed as you can see on the video it's a very very detailed one uh, and there we go uh, it has a shading on this one like uh, rusted it's rusted and on the inside it's, it has a rusted texture also and silver and a dent on the back uh, so you can go over and uh, put it on the machine life for forms head <laughs> and <laughs> there you go <laughs> for the other stuff there is the robot uh, that fires on the back of 2b there we go i don't know what it's called but i played uh, near like mm, 10% of the game because I sold it because I got bored and I have school to uh, focus more and there we go the robot that shoots on her back and there we go on the front on the left and on the back and I'm just gonna put him on the back also uh, this one that we doesn't know and the other reviewers doesn't know where to put this thing one this thing uh they didn't figure it out but i'm gonna figure it out after i i publish my video because apparently this is my first unboxing of the near tomata and as you can see there's a sword a very long sword uh that's almost big as a pen uh which uh it got handle and uh I think uh, like it's mm, I don't know what it's called but it's a very detailed uh, long sword from 2B there we're gonna uh, I think my figure has no paint chip at all because I saw so many on the reviewers they got so many paint chips on the 2B or maybe their accessories uh, the accessories itself has so many stuff so I guess seventy dollars worth uh so much worth it for the for this figurine. So as you can see, just gonna try to close it up. Twelve seconds later. So here is the review of to be the figurine, the figurine itself. So I can't see any paint chips on her face and on her dress, as you can see over here. Uh, the articulation are very good but uh, it's very small I didn't actually uh, imagine it that's as this small it's like big as a pen dude yeah 
can actually brought the sword as pen and the articulations are very good it doesn't pop out when I push it around when I, I uh, when I swender the feet and the hands it doesn't pop out like the other youtubers uh, I saw their figurines of 2B Bring Arts uh, I saw their um, torso got popped out I think they have the bootleg one I don't know if that's if I'm right that this has a bootleg uh, already because I don't really know and mine is perfectly fine as you can see no paint chip on the face and no paint chip on the dress also uh, on the on the arms on the back there's no paint chip at all uh, it has a good paint overall yeah I can give this figurine as 8 over 10 I don't see any flaws on him on her uh, I'm so lucky I guess and I don't know why this one is I don't know it's like popping out but I have no complaints about that because um, I'm gonna post him uh, so he would add uh, so visitors will notice him when they see her so he got four pairs of hands in this okay as you can see four pairs of hand the open hand the open hand and uh, uh, I think the sword grip yes. if I'm right uh, correct me if I'm wrong that's the sword grip and um, I appreciate the paint and the details on the figurine because it's very small it's very hard to uh, detail everything and some extra what is this extra I guess extra peg uh, and the uh, other one is the extra head which the mask I, I think the blindfold uh, which is not blindfolded without the blindfolded so as you can see there's no paint chip at all there's no flaws on the paint on the scope yeah every, everybody says the headbands look so not nice but actually mine looks so good i don't know why if i got the very good scope his eyes are very realistic from the fur uh there his eyes are very realistic on the right side back i think there's a black paint over here but unnoticeable and on the right side and the bag so as you can see uh this figure this um, action figure is a very worth it to buy because it's very small it's very detailed the paints are rude and uh, uh, for the price of seventy dollars you get two figurines the robot which is very cool because this one is pre-ordered uh, separately I guess they have two bots separately and it's 2700 uh it's 40 uh 44 dollars and we got the halo thing which um, covers up on the firing firing thing the robot and that's very much it and uh before i close uh i also got the 2b plushie that came out last march i received it from my girlfriend as a gift from our mansory and here it is it's a plushy and it's very squishy <laughs> and the old jokes of to be or not to be is very very old and it's not funny anymore so i didn't brought it up and that's the to be plushy and it says um, square enix property square enix products near automata zero zero two uh, it's very cute and very cuddly um uh, so that's it for the review and thank you for watching and i'm gonna i think i'm gonna give uh this uh auction figure uh 9.10 it's not not that bad but it's very it's not that good uh 
so many reviewers say it's very bad because it doesn't worth your money but from my aspect uh, it's very very much worth it because look at it dude look at it yeah that's it it's uh you just got a miniature 2b and so that's very much my review and jack sequel out bye